I'm out here in Park City, Utah, coming from California. Flew all the way out here just to meet up with the founders of Jump Search Recruiting. As you can tell, it's snowing outside, but it's a beautiful day. And uh, we're going to um, hopefully learn how to start a business today. All right, so here we go. All right, now before we get started, I want to make your life easier and provide you with a table of contents of all the questions that will be asked throughout the interview. Because interviews can be a little bit lengthy, I want to list all of them out so you can just jump straight to the questions by clicking directly on the, the questions you see on the screen in front of you. Now, this will only work if you have a desktop computer. If you're using a mobile tablet device, uh, then you'll just manually have to use a time code listed right next to the questions and skip directly there. Lastly, I want to thank Michelle and Eric, the founders of Jump Search Recruiting, for providing us with the opportunity to uh, have this free information and hopefully inspire some people today to start their own companies and just provide them the right resources. So without further ado, let's go. I'm here today with Eric Solano as well as Michelle Kuo. They are the founders of Jump Search Recruiting. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about Jump Search Recruiting? Yeah, so Jump Search Recruiting, what we are is uh, we do technical recruiting for startups. A lot of it is mid-sized to smaller companies that are expanding, growing really fast. So our niche market would be working mainly in the LA San Francisco as well as uh, Salt Lake City area, basically the Silicon Triangle. What inspired you to start your company? Well, I've worked in industry for about eight years. I worked for a few technical agencies, recruiting agencies, um, worked internally at Toyota, and I realized one thing that I really enjoyed was developing relationships and making kind of more of the quality, developing that quality relationship versus just the quantity. And a lot of times with the agencies, it's very less high touch. It's all about the numbers and getting people in there and make placements versus mm -hmm. really walking through the whole process of making someone's, changing someone's life. And so I decided to start my own company because I really wanted that intimate, more relationship with both the client as well as the candidate um, and develop that through the whole process. The opportunity for us to start this business has given us um, sort of the free, the latitude to build it in the way that really embodies our values. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times, um, you know, when you're working for a corporation or some other, somebody, some other company, um, it's very important that, and this is part of what we do as, as an agency, we, 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 we bring um, talent and we find the right fit between talent and, um, and, and startups, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of questions that we ask, a lot of things that we're looking for, not just in terms of skills, but also in terms of values, in terms mm -hmm. of culture. So one of the challenges, or one, I, one of the great things about starting your own business is that, you know, it, it gives you the opportunity to really create something that embodies your values. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, the alternative is trying to find a company that has values that are in line with your values and you know, working for that company. We measure our success by our ability to enable other people to be successful. Mm -hmm. I think that you know, um, success is, is best when shared, yeah. and if we can enable other people to find their success, um, again, we find that really fulfilling. Mm -hmm. Let's say I want to start, it, start up my own business. How would I get started with that? I think the, the biggest thing is really understanding what you're trying to achieve by starting your own business. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and there's many answers to that. I mean, you know, do you want to start your own business because you're pursuing money, because you're, you have a certain passion for something? Um, and you have to sort of dig deep and figure out, you know, why, are you, why do you want to pursue something? Mm -hmm. It could be for money, it could be for lifestyle, it could be because you're good at something. It could be because there's no other way to, working for someone else doesn't provide you with the opportunity to achieve what you're trying to accomplish. So you have to do it on your own. So there's so many reasons to it. And I think that uh, the more that you dig deep and really understand sort of why you want to pursue building your own business, that'll help you help you get through the ups and downs. Because when you're starting a business, it's it's not easy. Right? There's a there's a lot of ups and downs. And if you don't really know why you're trying to accomplish something, why you're trying to build a business, you're going to have a tough time getting through the downs. Mm. Right? It, and there's a lot of you know there's a lot of off ramps for you to quit and to give up. And um, if you really understand why you're trying to build this business, that'll help you get you know through those those down parts. Um, as far as tools, um, you know I think some of the things that have helped us tremendously is having um, a strong support structure. So we do have a board of, board of advisors 
that are able to provide us with all kinds of objective um, perspectives and feedback, um, give us ideas. Because a lot of times when you're starting your own business, a lot of times uh, you can get very myopic about mm -hmm. uh, what you're doing and very, you know, just sort of tunnel vision. If you have a group of trusted advisors or people you can rely on to, s to give you a different perspective, it's, it's helped, we found that it's helped us tremendously. Do you have a work-life balance? And if, if so, how do you maintain that work-life balance? The length of time it takes for you to start your business and get it going, it's going to be exponentially or just doubled or tripled or whatever time mm -hmm. it would if, if you had invested a lot of time into it. I so see. I think initially there's a lot of time and work that goes into it, but it's because you're passionate and you want to get that, right. that company and your idea started. And then I think once it launches, it's, it's up to you and how you manage your, your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So for us personally, I think that we do a lot of work-life balance. I mean, we balance when we, when we want to work, when we need to work um, with just the time off that we need to take off. And a lot of times it's, you know, Fridays or certain mornings we go off and we'll snowboard, we'll just enjoy, you know, t kind of running errands and um, kind of enjoying our lives and taking on vacations or long extended vacations versus really sticking to a straight nine to five. Mm -hmm. What would you say was the greatest challenge when you first started your business? I think the biggest obstacle, even though it's kind of funny to say, is that um, really having a belief in yourself hmm. and getting the stepping stones all put together to get it, uh, I guess, spearheaded, as you would say. Um, I, and that's one of the things, when I first started off, I, I knew I was good at what I, what I did, and I knew I had a great connection with people, and I, I could bring that relationship and just my talent to building the company the way it was mm -hmm. um, but it really I had a lack of belief in who like myself mm -hmm. and a lot of times I think entrepreneurs um, some of them are hesitant about it just because they don't know if it's gonna you know be profitable is it gonna be successful or free or just failure um, and so that was probably the biggest obstacle and it, it took me a few months to really look at the pieces I had I knew I could be successful it's just mm -hmm. the, it, really getting it going and I think um, Eric did a lot of you know pushing me and just encouraging me to, to think about it and get it started. And so once I got started, it was just bringing the pieces together. And once I got that going, it, you know, it kind of took off by itself. So made it a little bit easier after that. <laughs> awesome. I think that, um, I guess going back to that support group, um, a board of advisors, you know, it could be a formal thing or an informal thing, but mm -hmm. I think having that support structure is something that's very important. I mean, we rely on each other. Uh, uh, very much so as, as a primary uh, support structure. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals, people that you can learn from, people that are smart, and people that are just, you know, they, they, they believe in you. You know, if you can mm -hmm. surround yourself with those kinds of folks, again, it's a bit of a roller coaster, and it's during the down times that you're going to need that support structure. Right. So, mm -hmm. to the extent that you can build that support structure, it'll help you pull through those down times. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, you know, you want to surround yourself with good people, and uh, we found that to be very helpful. Do you think it's possible that anyone could start a business? Or if not, what, what, kind, of, what kind of person would it take to create a own business? I'm not sure that there's a magic formula, per se, but um, I think people that have been successful at anything, whether it's starting a business or learning how to play hockey or whatever, I think the people that become successful at anything they do are the people that um, that can fall down, but they can get back up, mm -hmm. right? Right. And and just keep going. I think the persistence I think has a lot to do with it. Um, and I don't think it's blind persistence, mm -hmm. but there's a component of that getting back up where you kind of learn from, you know, why you fell down to mm -hmm. begin with. And you know, the more you fall down, the more you learn something new, and the more you keep going. I think it's some combination of persistence and um, just being able to learn from, you know, from mistakes mm -hmm. and um, just keep, keep on going. Just wrapping up, uh, what, what tips would you have for people who want to start their business? Like, what, what are the, the top tips that you would give to them? I think the biggest uh, few tips is, one, figure out what you're passionate about, what mm -hmm. you're... The other part is f finding out what you're good at. Usually people who are good at something more than likely are going to be passionate about it, but not always. You mm -hmm. know, you could be good at swimming, but you're not necessarily going to be a swimmer. Right. Um, but finding the combination of what you're passionate about, what you're really good at, mm -hmm. um, 
those are the two key things to start off. I mean, definitely number three is having belief in yourself. Mm. Um, finding the support group that Eric was mentioning is is definitely important. Um, don't know if that's kind of number four. And then number five really is going through that exercise of um, building that business plan to mm. walk through the whole process of how you're going to start the company, who's part, of, who's going to be investing in the company, how you're going to be profitable, because that's how you're going to be running the business, mm -hmm. um, and kind of what your future plans, short-term as well as long-term. I would recommend to folks out there that are thinking of starting a business to uh, find a template online. You can find them, you know, there's a lot of free templates out there. You know, find a template and, you know, just go through the different sections because it, it, forms, it provides structure for you to think mm -hmm. about certain aspects of your business. Mm -hmm. All right. All righty. Well, thank you so much, Michelle and Eric. And hopefully this will be helpful in having other people start starting their own businesses. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cut that part. Cool.